This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we analyze biggest entertainment stories, trending topics, celebrity gossip, have lifestyle conversation, and so much more. My name is Elsie Godwin, and my gang is complete. I have them here, interesting people, Chim Ife Omai okay. and Benia. Hi, ladies. Hi, gang. Hi, Ife. <laughs> what yeah. happened to you this morning? The lockdown, guys. Mm -hmm. The my, lockdown. My movement. Oh. I'm not in independent. Was this like a lockdown in the <laughs> lockdown? Aspect. Oh, my goodness. I'm just wondering. No, like, it's not. Oh, okay. So you guys miss me? Yeah. Of course he has to. You went conspicuously <laughs> absent. I'm so emotional. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you too. I saw the show; it was really good. Oh, mm. Like the guests that came. I like in. your short hair. Thank you. I thought and you never noticed. I made the wig yesterday, so. It's beautiful. Like Benny, I'm, I'm here. More. Hi, I, I love your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm here. You too. <laughs> learn how to be diplomatic. I know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I know. I know. So wow. It's pretty hard to keep you up with this thing sometimes. Like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Nollywood actress, director, and producer Funke Akindele and husband Abdul Rashid Bello have pleaded guilty for defiling the orders of the Lagos state government and have both been sentenced to 14 days mm. in community service with a fine of 100,000 naira each. They were found guilty of one count charge of hosting a gathering of 20% and over, contrary to the social distancing directives of the state government. The couple is also to go into self-isolation for 14 days in an undisclosed location, which will be decided by the Lagos State Ministry of Health. Mm. I mean... <laughs> <coughs> Why are you saying yeah, We need to hear your like, take. Right? You know, it is... My, my when I read this that they're now getting community service, the first thing I want I, I thought was like, I want to know what they're talking about inside the house, like both of them together. I'm pretty sure she's probably saying sweetheart, but I told you, I warned you. I said don't upload this thing because she was really strategic. Mm -hmm. On her story, she never uploaded any guests. She uploaded like okay, what's going on? Life was bubbly at home with family. That's the, kind of like well, how I knew that she was at fault because she knew what she was doing. And then even the pictures that she uploaded on her timeline was just with her family. It made it look like you know I just really. Just home alone. Thank you. And mm -hmm. then my guy, when I say men can embarrass you, this is what they mean. My guy was like, hey, acting like he's 20. <laughs> <laughs> like he's having a bachelor party or something. I feel like he's the one that really just jabbed mm. the whole and thing. And even when she was making the video and apologizing, Uncle was on the other end. Doing a live video and saying you pull rant and talk too much is your yeah. data, yeah. man. He's, okay. He should get he should get like a, a fine from her when they get home because this is this he doesn't no, have no, it like I said, I said work it, you know together. I mean? I'm sorry, I, I said it. She was dumb. He he's dumber. You know what I mean? Wow. Um, he should get a bigger punishment. I expect that so much. I'm serious. I expect that so much from JJ skills, but he he proved to be, you know, the lesser person between him and his wife and. Again, I, I'm, I'm trying to see if there's a way they can downplay the, the, the media paparazzi this is getting right now. Mm -hmm. um, because already, uh, we all know Funke has a wide following. Uh, mm. Fans will react, people, people will reach out and all that stuff. But I'm just hoping at the end of the day, it does serve as, as a deterrent to other celebrities and other people who feel you know, you can just flout government orders and get away with it. And so if, if Funke can do that and JJ skills are scapegoats right now, that means nobody's is above the law. Yeah. Yeah, so they should, they should do the community service, they should put them in self-isolation <laughs> because we cannot say now for sure if they are not, you know what I mean, having that kind of crowd in your house. Um, like you already said in the morning when we were talking about this, you can't tell those people they've stepped out once or twice, you can't just tell me they're all in your house for, for months, weeks and days without stepping out. Mm -hmm. You must really be like a market or superstore, I mean, you know, and so, uh, we should learn, we already have too many problems as it is as a people, as a nation. All right, so when government passes a law, let's as much as we can try and as much as we can, as much as they say is not enough, innately, to be law abiding people. Yeah. Um, keep to those laws. I think that's and why this you is can... again for the safety of everybody. Think about your loved ones, think about your family, think about the elderly. Think about the little kids. Think about the children, you know? yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that's why you can see that people are not, like, kind of, like, seen as an uh, exaggeration. is because a lot of people are not practicing the social distancing oh, yeah. and mm. people are chilling. So it's like, what's the big deal? But to whom much is given, much is expected. Yeah. I think people are forgetting that aspect. Like, we won't even be talking about you and what you're doing in your house because we don't care. But this is from Kakidele. So and those people have not <laughs> uploaded videos of their social gathering on social media. And they don't media. have, if like, not, videos of try. them telling you, mm -hmm. please stay safe in digital adverts. <laughs> Guys... <laughs> five, <laughs> five minutes, it says wash your hands, daily. You know, we're not doing all that. So, yeah, and people need to understand that. But mm, it, at the end of the day, they're humans. And I think this parting thing is a spirit that Nigerians are possessed with. Mm -hmm. And we just need to start fighting and praying and casting it out. 
and just re realize that this thing is going to go and we just need a few more days, months, whatever, if we're lucky. It all really depends on how well we practice the social distancing and then we can go back to our lives the sooner the we need to sooner than we you know we have to yeah. stop. However, so, I've yeah. seen I've seen comments on social media. I mean we mentioned it this morning and people are saying some people are saying uh uh it's too much now she has apologized which I said It's okay apology accepted. I mean apology but, accepted but apology does not negate consequences. But Nigerians do, do that do for you? everything. They do that for rapists. Yeah. You know, they do exactly. that for murderers. Yeah. They're like uh uh guys let God um punish the something yeah and forgive me I, I said sorry now until we get like, to the point where we sick. hold each other accountable we cannot get better as a people yeah. you see people saying uh, let's maintain the same energy when it comes to the federal government oh i also saw one where they said that so these people actually see what is going on on social media and they ignore us when we talk about power and all that but i want to correct that notion i mean i might be wrong but this is my personal opinion i think the Lagos state government pay a whole lot of attention on social media. Maybe the federal government do, not even maybe, they probably don't, right? Yeah. But when it comes to Lagos state government, if you have checked sure. the the history, I mean, Sydney say Walker, a week or two people. weeks back and all, I say two weeks, yes back, two, three years back, you know, they pay attention and they actually listen. Even from when Sonwolu entered, most of the things, I'm okay, let me bring the very mundane one, when he used to point fingers, can you remember that? And he stopped, I, I know that's really the, the, the joke part, but there's so many things that have come up um, in the um, their policies and their decision making yeah. that have actually stemmed from social media. So if you want to drag the federal government, I, I, I'm not going to say uh, no or yes, but when Lagos it comes to Lagos, Lagos State, State, they've Lagos. actually been paying attention. You know, again, the reason why the Lagos State government had to take this up with Funke Akindele and JJ Skills because she's a celebrity. If they mm -hmm. don't do something about them, yeah. other people will see it as a leeway to defy these orders. So I, I want to say kudos to, to the Lagos State government for taking this up seriously. Yeah. And you know, I mean, Baba Jiri people thought it started pretty slow when he was elected gov governor. Mm -hmm. but I think COVID-19 has given him the opportunity yeah, to show so that to he can be a leader. So, I mean, hey, let's hope that he maintains this pace. I'm the man for the job. I'm here mm -hmm. to do something. So let, yeah. let's see let's how this will go. His wife. He's on, married on to a that, doctor. You know. So that obviously will play a big part in pillow talk. Like, honey, I think you need to sanitize the roads. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. moving on to the next story. President um, Buhari's personal assistant, Bashir Ahmad, calls out Lola Omotayo Koye for demanding the whereabouts of Abakayari. Um, he said, and I quote, though I really don't know who this Lola is, but someone close to her should please tell her to leave Abakayari to recuperate in peace. He's in Lagos and responding well to treatment. If it's caring, she should also use the same energy to ask the whereabouts of other COVID-19 patients. Mm. Um... <laughs> Like I, I, I don't want to say I'm disappointed in Hamad Bashir's um, re response to this to this tweet from um, Omotayo. Because Has he ever met your expectation? No, not at all. Okay. You know, because prior to this time, there are other things that people have talked about. I was hoping he was going to react to all those things, that the president is not living up to expectation. He's not delivering the dividends he promised to people. And here is a citizen being concerned only after the health minister did say he cannot say talk say the whereabouts of Abakiari. Was she wrong for now coming out to act? Thank sorry, you. sorry. This man is, was tested positive. And if you, the health minister, is coming to say you don't know about right. his whereabouts, yeah. Uh, that should leave us worried. Doesn't yeah. mean he's, well, he's roaming about, going about, shaking hands with people <laughs> all over the street. <laughs> and, so, so, and so our concern and our questions were pretty valid. And mm -hmm. I, was, I was just disappointed at Hamid's response. Yeah. And we, we, we expect more from leadership. You know when you say you're you disappointed? That was what I asked you initially. You you know, were you expecting else? something yeah. better? Because like we, read, we just said now in the previous story, like when it comes to the federal government, they pick the most mundane things to respond Shall to. And the real you know, important things, they don't respond to it and they don't yeah. care. And that's exactly what what this man is doing For right sure. now. So I'm not send, surprised. Maybe this is just me. Like, I can't help myself. But I could also send some type of condescending attitude to it. Like, who is this all that girl? Yeah, I don't know I how. Feel like, like, really? I feel like, is this like now like a woman thing? Like, oh, you know, somebody's asking. Because I feel like it was another prominent. Obviously, he's responding to Lola because he knows that Lola is prominent. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I feel like if it was a man, he wouldn't really use those particular words. You answer the I don't question. really know this lie. She's a citizen of the Federal Republic mm, of Nigeria who demands to know who um, someone you came out to say was tested positive for COVID-19. And, and as then, the PA of Tubuhari, it's, it's, yeah. it shouldn't be too much for you to research who you're about yeah. to talk about. Yeah. I mean, how many seconds would that take? And thank you for answering us. At least we know he's in the hospital. Actually, not, like, he's an intelligent man. He's an intelligent young man. On other issues, he has shown his intelligence. So that's why I'm disappointed in its response to, to this tweet. It's like, it's a, it's you know, a how dare you? You. Who are you yeah. to ask? And you that's know. why I have to put the gender um, role into that. But he's, he's, it's okay. We've heard I think it. Pretty we, condescending, we, we have right? transparency yeah. issue in this part of the world when it comes to the government and the people. Like, they feel like they should shield everything in secrecy. And I don't know why. I mean, Boris Johnson 
has tested positive, right? We see his process. And yesterday he was on TV and my friend and I were just saying, oh God, we hope he gets better. Mm -hmm. Because the transparency is there. You, yeah. It's easy for us to want to have empathy yeah. for him. Yeah. But for you people, even when you're drinking water, it's like you should cover the water. Let's not know the color of water. But God's so kind, we know that water is water. I mean, I, I don't know. But it's time for a quick break. When we return, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Now. Oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still by. Some side they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. Keeping fit during this lockdown can be a challenge for many as their most regular activities at the moment are cooking and eating. To top it all, gyms are closed. However, it has now become very possible to maintain your fitness routine or to actually start one because of an initiative by a former Big Brother Niger housemate and fitness trainer, Kemen Fitness. Kemen is joining us via Skype right now. Hello, Kemen. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine. Hope you can hear me. Yes, we can. You're live. So, um, what right. is the motivation or inspiration behind Bite with Kemen? So, um, Bite with Kemen is a product I um, already had. I created Bite in 2017. So, Bite is a short form for the word basic intense training exercise. Basic interval training experience, basically. And um, BITE is a total body workout that um, a 20 minute total body workout that enables you to exercise without having to use any equipment or having to use any um, any other object or tool. So um, I, created, I created BITE in 2017. And I have been using Byte um, to train my client and work and out with my friends. It will be up immediately when we heard about the uh, pandemic had entered the country. I stopped going to the gym for the long because uh, I didn't want to myself for the people around me at risk. And I also wanted to work out. So I said, you know what? Why don't you just try to work out? Um, at home and then see if you have a few people online that would want to join so uh, i wasn't even looking at the numbers when i i started doing a um, bite live on my instagram page but the moment i posted it on my page that i was going to start working out live i realized that um, it had a lot of uh, comments and from when we started bite Yes, so far, I've noticed that um, you can get almost 500 um, people join at a session, and that's amazing because even in the gym, I don't think um, there's any space or facility in Nigeria that can hold um, 500 people at a time. So um, what would you want people who are joining this session to take out of it at the end of this lockdown? So I just want them to see it as an opportunity, all right, to either reconnect or start a fitness habit um, to also understand that health is wealth at the end of the day because uh, in even trying to stay healthy through this period apart from making sure your hygiene is good making sure that you have your fruits and vegetables you also need to work out because exercise helps you know to um, it helps to improve your immune system you know, also helps to fight diseases. So um, this is like um, this is like uh, a peace, see it as a peace offering, 
um, something that when you start now, you can now take it all the way, all through your life without having to stop ever again. Hi, Kim, man. How you doing? I'm good. Oh, I, I just want to ask you, I don't know um, if what you're doing is specifically tailored for, for um, people in this tropic. Now, I say that to say there are many people who have a lot of workout videos at home. Um, one that easily comes to mind for workout buff is Shanti, the Insanity Workout Dude, Shanti. So what, what's the difference between what Shanti does and what you're introducing right now for those who are already part of what Shanti does with Insanity Workout? Okay, so um, actually, um, Byte is... Byte was motivated by the likes of Shanti, okay. Mike Caprenko, and um, Billy Banks, because these were the guys I used to watch and follow their routine when I started. So, um, Shanti, yeah, so Byte, the difference between Byte and Shanti is that Byte is a bit more of a complete um, routine because... Um, bite focuses a lot more on um, muscle toning and strengthening than just cardiovascular endurance. And the way I apply it in my training, you know, bite with Kemen, like I, do, like I do on my page, it gives everybody an opportunity to have something of interest in working out. So it's not just about losing um, fat, burning fat and losing weight. For the guys, because I try to now mix it up with a challenge of 150 push-ups, 150 jump squats and lunges for the ladies. So for the guys in trying to lose fat, they also want to be buffed up here. And for the ladies in trying to lose fat, they also don't want to lose their curviness, all right? And that's why we bring in the mix of the challenge and include it with the bite that is already a very complete 20 minutes workout that focuses on just increasing that muscle and toning up that muscle while you're trying to lose fat. So it's losing and gaining at the same time. You lose fat and gain muscle at the same time. So um, Bite, I would say, is a more complete um, um, workout product to to Shanti's Insanity or T25. These, okay. Like I said, these were programs that I've done in the past. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then again, I'd like to ask him for the last thing for me um, on this. Uh, aside, aside the cardiovascular... Um, exercise you put these people through. Do you also introduce any kind of um, dietary plan for them? You and I know better. I mean, when it comes to workout, it's seventy-five percent your diet, and the rest is um, what what body parts you're really trying to work on. Do you also include diets that they should be on? Okay, so this is the, this is where I come from. Uh, I uh, I understand, or I I think there's a, there's a, a limit to what we can get because we are in lockdown. All right. A lot of people don't have money to stock up all they need to eat. So in introducing a diet plan is kind of tricky. Not everybody can get it sorted. So what I do for people that hit me up privately to say, what can we do about food? I say, okay, why don't you take up the whole idea of intermittent fast? All right. So you have um, 18, um, six hours window of eating and 18 hours fast with fasting window so no food till 12 and then no food after six then be between the window of 12 and six you can eat whatever i mean you have around in the right proportion all right and also try to eat fresh you know have your fruits and also have your vegetables because the truth is in lockdown even in my house i don't think i have everything that i'd love to eat so instead of um forcing enforcing a particular um, eating plan i rather enforce a particular eating style and habit which is the um, 18 hours fast and six hours um eating window okay. that okay. the intermittent um, what bites. for those who want to join this um workout session online what time do you go live daily so uh, it's 7 a.m nigerian time and uh, 6 p.m so uh, 700 hours and uh, 1800 hours all right thank you day. so much kemen for what you're doing i'm definitely following that closely and thank you thank you very much Mahali. All right. You, you just said you're following that closely. Not yes. that you're going to join that. I mean, I am really, like, I'm, I'm, I really don't even really have any questions. That I've seen this guy. I'm just like, this is not, this is not for us. If it's you know, not for you. Like, uh, first of all, we don't even have any equipment. We don't have that type of stamina at all. Oh, wow. I'm like, Who one, are we? two, like, two, three, four. For those of us that don't work out, <laughs> <laughs> we're in this kind of 
we, we exist. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's so, doing a good job. I mean, we, we see I, you I, people. I, we I recognize solo, you people. I'm trying to be like you guys when, when we get older. I actually work out with him. Oh, great. He's helped my... I think before the end of this lockdown, my shape will be, you know, okay. perfect. We'll be looking forward Get it, girl. to it. It's obvious to say, obviously, your shape is perfect oh, already. Sorry, your shape is perfect. Sorry. You're working in it. It's all good. <sighs> okay, <laughs> moving on real quick. Um, Courtney Kardashian quits um, show after fight with Kim. According to Courtney, she will be spending time with her kids as raising children is a job as well. She says it's the hardest and most rewarding job she has ever had. Mm. This is right. I'm a big fan of keeping up with the Kardashians, really? right? Really? Oh, yeah. I'm a very big fan. And they, they started, I'm sorry, yeah. It's, you know, they, <laughs> they started losing me when I realized that a lot of things were falling apart with mm. them. And this is not the first time we're going to see such kind of altercation with, with the Kardashians, all right? Mm. Again, remember, there's a lockdown. Um, it's all about the ratings, mm. okay? And um, they have a momager that she'll do anything to make sure they don't go off the radar. Did you see that slap? <laughs> They've had worse altercations. I can tell okay, you that for free. I, I'm not a fan. You know, that's it. They've had yeah. worse altercations. And for me, um, it's, it's all about the show ratings. It will amaze you that at the end of the day, now many people say she might not come back to the show. She may come back to the show. It's all, it's all for the stats. It's all for the numbers. And so don't be surprised after if she's going to come back to that show. Now they need to, they need to do everything possible to, to keep, the people, that's it, to keep people viewing and keep it watching. Yeah, does it get really heated sometimes? I think sometimes? they've done worse for eyeballs. It, yeah, been, well, yeah. I, I don't, does I it get really heated really... sometimes but in, in, in the show? Yes. At such moments, they call the camera off. But unfortunately right now, there are no cameras in there. I mean, they were using their phones or whatever they had. And so in real situation, if they were recording, they, cameras, they, they were, were yeah. okay, they would have asked, they would have called the camera off. They would have, somebody would have walked out on that stop. So I'm not necessarily particular about this. I just feel again, it's the Kardashians. They would, they would do anything for the clouds. I, 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 I disagree. I don't think it. I think okay. I think people are at home and there's really not that much need to force matters. If you watch the show very often, this is not the first second time that um, Courtney has um, been sounding like this and it's getting worse. I don't think it's for clouds. I think she's genuinely tired. There's something about that family. And the reason why I, I, I'm choosing to believe that is because the same thing happened with Rob. And we all sat here and said, hey, it's for clouds. They're trying to just get the numbers up. My guy can't even come out of his house anymore. <laughs> and that's all for clouds. So there is a problem. For, for Rob, we know what having, it is. Rob is dealing with a weight issue. And we know what he it is. He's dealing with a self-esteem. Yeah, we, Courtney's also telling you issue, that she's you know tired I mean? of being a celebrity. She doesn't want it anymore. Like Riley said, this is not the first time. Time. That's it. This is the it's first not time. It's possible. No, it's it. not. It is the first time not, Courtney not, is yeah. saying, "I want to be out of show." Exactly. You know what I mean? So exactly. So what is the problem? Like, I don't think. I don't think that she's lying about that. I think that that's genuinely how she feels. That she's tired of being on that show. So and you what can tell. If you see her back soon. It's very possible. I mean, she even did say because I watched the. I don't watch their show. I don't really feel like their family like that. But I watched the show that was aired on Sunday, um, and she did say that she, she. She's not saying that she wants to quit the show. She's saying she wants to back off. She what does that, what is that, what does that to, even mean? Because I mean, for them, it's a job. If you, you got to quit. If you, if you want to quit, quit. You can't back off your. If, if you say back off, like you won't be part of the show again. I mean, for most of the revenue, aside like what you show, do, what she was that's where the money comes from. Is that she doesn't want to be recorded all the time. So even that mm. episode, a lot of the things that were going on were off camera. So you hear like Kim saying, and hey, um, Courtney decided that she didn't want to record this. Courtney decided she didn't want to record this. So she's tired of being on set. They are family members, and it's a family business. So she can't necessarily be away from the show at all. So even Rob, that isn't on the show anymore, still appears. Yep. Um, but she wants to take a break. I don't see that as the numbers or she's trying to like form it for, for radio. No, the emphasis on the altercation that happened between both of them are like, it's not the first time I'm seeing. They've had, mm -hmm. they had, they've had worse altercation. Yeah, siblings, they'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. They've had worse altercation. Siblings, and so, mm. siblings fight, for sure. And that's where most of the bills is paid from. So I won't be surprised if she still features and she's she I have to do. I have to say, though, that Kim is yeah. a bit controlling. I mean, it, it's oh, yeah. a, I don't understand how somebody can decide that they want something else for their lives and you find that hard. She's to, like Chris. To, yes, thank you. She's just like Chris. Um, and okay. it, it's, it's yeah. interesting. But I, we'll see, I have no we'll idea. <laughs> I don't follow these people that much. I just know there's a Kim and there's a Courtney and there's, what's the other one, Kylie. You know, they're sweet people Kendall. and I see their wonders online, but that's enough. Okay, that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and do join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. You can also catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my amazing co anchors, Ife Omai and Benny Yak, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay home and stay safe. Thank you.